Hello everybody, welcome back to another Direwolf 20 1.12 mod pack video. Um, today, I know I said I was going to go out for a little adventure. Uh, frames are dropping, I'm going to wait until the chunks load real quick. Okay, I think it should be good now. But anyway, <clears throat> I know last episode we said we were going to go ahead and adventure out towards that way. Um, I'm going to experiment with the chisel land bits. So first of all, I need a what is it? It's called like a bit bag or something. Yes, a bit bag. So I need wool and a chisel bit. Ah, okay, simple enough. So I need to go find some sheep. Or is there another way you can make wool? Is there any other way you can make wool? You can make it with four string. You can make it with oh, some wool and wool and cotton, which. Eh. Is there any other way? Can do sawmill. You can do compactor, B extractor. Uh, crafting seems to be the best one that we have. So we're gonna go need to find. We're gonna have to find some sheep to grab its wool. Um, we don't need the andesite. So let's go ahead find some sheep and get its wool. Looks like we are going to be coming up on some sheep. I just grabbed some of whatever this is. But it looks like we got some sheep right here. Um, that was only one piece of wool. Do we need... I think we need the same color wool. Ah, look at that. Now we got three. And then this guy over here. Oh, that's, that's an angry bee. Okay, we'll get away from your hive then. Um, do I have any food to eat? I don't know if I uh, brought these potatoes, I guess. I might as well just eat those. So, I need eight wool for the entire thing. So that means that we have four, so we need four more wool. I just found these pretty cool spider webs. Um... Apparently they give you string. What does this one do? Doesn't give you anything. Is it even these ones? Maybe it's just the only the cool spider webs that give you the string. Oh, it's sunset. It's getting sunset now. We should probably head back to the base and go to sleep, and then we'll get the rest of the wool in the morning. Oh, there's another one of those trees right there. We should also probably take a sheep back home or something. So there are many of them, so we're just going to go through the forest, and if we find one, because it doesn't matter, because we are, we're fine on resources, we can take on a mob. Uh, Food-wise, I'm still fine even, but uh, we're not that far away. We're going to have to make a chicken slaughterhouse, because we've got all this chicken right here. We've got all these eggs. I'm just going to take you, because I need food, I don't even care if it's raw. Wait, can you... Uh, doesn't matter if you can get food. Huh, surprisingly I didn't. I probably will with this one. Huh, I guess not. Okay, well, we are still looking for sheep. Still, um, we have five wool because I just put that... What is it? The iron, or not iron, the string <coughs> into the crafting table to make some... Oh, look at that. So we got... Hopefully he gives us three. Oh, we've also got another one down here. And another. Okay, looks like we'll have enough now. Are you kid? Oh my god, I thought I put the shears in there. So, six, nine, and we'll just get this one up here just in case. I'm also going to need to take you home to make a sheep farm. <coughs> so that won't be until later, so update on the town as well. So I'm going to make the house that I'm going to be living in close to the base. I'm just going to make the base look more like a temple, I guess. So I need to map out all the areas of it because that's going to just be the temple and then, well, then it's going to be houses and everything. So what we're going to do then is we are going to actually clear out the, <clears throat> um, what is it? We're going to clear out the village right here, meaning we're going to demolish all the houses. 
so we can have more room to make the actual structure of the town. Here it is, the chiseled bit bag. So, I believe that, yeah. And all these stack up to like 512 or something. Now, where's my chisel? Because I want to chisel out some blocks real quick. Uh, chisel is... It's some, yeah, it's right here. Okay, now, I want to test something out with this bit block. Also, let's get this little bit XP. I'm roasting up the potatoes right here so we have something to eat. Which we should be good now. Okay. This hops things. I don't even know what they are. So, I'm gonna bring out a block, actually. What block should I do? I'm gonna do this limestone. Actually, no. Because I want to test out a couple features of the block. Um, I guess I could take the... No, I don't want to take the chisel glass. Actually, yeah, we'll just take the chisel glass. What the? That's a weird little function there. Wait, do we have anything like chisel? Yeah, we have the side chiseled out. Okay, now I want to show you what I'm going to do with this. So let's take it out here. And we're going to place it right here. So then we've got the entire side of it chiseled out. So if we press Alt, we can select um, these things right here. So I want to... Or no, don't you do... Okay, so I want to clear it out. Oh, that is much easier. So now you get these individual blocks. Plus, you can also get like a little glass panel. So then when you check in the bit bag, you got all the glass. Now that is cool. So I think you can do that with just about any block. So I want to go down here. And I want to see some of the rarer blocks that I have. So, like, I want to make a house. So a good floor... Because I'm going to use the glass, the windows. So a good floor would probably have to be... I'd say it would be wood. But I don't know what kind of wood it would be. So how much durability does this have? Oh, it's got, it's got a lot. It's got a whole ton. Also, I'm going to plant this cotton real quick. So I'm going to also go... I'll put you in here. So yeah, you can place all that in there. I'm just going to replant... I'm just going to plant this cotton real quick. It's right on the field right here. Just so I can get a little bit more. So you just harvest it like that. And then there you go. I love having the cotton farm up here. We're going to need a lot more farms later. But. Ooh, I want to know what I should do. So I'm thinking about dark oak wood. But I also want to try this like basil. And it looks so cool. It's down here. So I might actually go mining for some. Because it's right near a lava patch. And they just look so cool. We are back. I went ahead and got the basil. Um, there's a little patch of lava. It did take a little while to find, but I eventually did get it. So here it is. Now, this is what I like about it. It it looks like a kitchen floor, kind of, right? Can you get, like... Is there, like, a way of getting, like... So there is basil, there's just regular basil. Uh, this is kind of one that I want to get. Oh. This, where is it? This one kind of right here, the big tile. I don't know how to get these though. It's weird. Um, so what you do is, so the bit bag, it is, yeah, it's got room. So we're going to just Launch an entire little bit of it. And actually, I'm going to make a pile of four of these. And then we're just going to bring all these down to dust. Because we will then be able to be able to place the full block of it. And what this does is... Makes it just a little bit more... Oh, God. Um, well, then. Uh, I'm going to do with these ones. That's a couple. Uh, how about I put wherever you guys go? Any of these things go in here? None of these, really? Okay, uh, how about in here? Yeah, a couple things can go in here. So that is about, that's a couple stacks. So in here you see that we've got just a whole bunch of marble and a whole bunch of basalt. So let's go up here. 
and I'm going to start the house. So I want to start the house like right here, right here. So then we won't be too far from the base, but it's actually, no, I want to start on this little flat land over here. So we really aren't too far away from the regular base. Plus it's a good little flat area to start out with. I think I might go ahead and just take a couple blocks out of here and then just go um, on ahead with that. But yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting, I hope. So I'm just gonna maybe make this entire area right here flat and then fill in most of the gaps right here like this with just dirt. And just kind of flatten everything out. And we got the area cleared out. So I want to start this house. So I know people do some weird buildings with theirs, but I want to keep mine fairly normal, I guess. So I want to do stuff like this. So it's going to be a medium sized kitchen. I want to have a living room, a bedroom, a storage area, uh, possibly a basement, and who knows. I might keep it a ranch or I might make it a second floor house, but I don't want this to be too big of a basement, or not a basement, too big of whatever it is. Um, and also grab some marble right here. So we will place the, wait, does this also go in the plane? Yep, it does. So this is what I like about it, because it's so little of a block and you can place it right on top of the other. So. I believe you can also tilt this into a wall. But now you have <clears throat> half slabs like this. And I want to put some stuff here. I don't know, I just find this stuff really kind of interesting. And then we can build the wall out here, which I can also make these little things right here, these lines. And then what that is, oh, that's, oh, I think you can make walls with that. Um, what is it called? It's just called, what was it? It might have been line, just in this direction. I don't know, I might have done something with it. But it's cool, that's all you need to know, is that it's, it's a cool little mechanic. Okay, I just got some wool in here, so I want to test that out. So let's grab some wool. I'm going to grab a full stack of it. And I might also grab maybe another bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the little bit right here. Or not this little bit, but the white wool bit. And then this is already formed into a small cube. But I want to have the wall on the outside. So we are going to probably make this one into medium cube. Or actually, no, we might make it into the small cube. And then what this is going to make is, you know, like that, I don't know what it's called, but it's on the side of most walls. And it's just a little detail, I guess, I would like to add. So I guess we'll do small cubes with it. And it's like this. It's mostly on, like, the bottom of the wall. Uh, we're going to need some single bits to get into that. That isn't a problem. You can also just do this. So I'm going to make this along the wall then. And actually, I can go back and correct that. So it's like this, except it's maybe not that thick and made out of wood. Is there like any like white, white wood? There is. Um, this is white wood. Okay, so that might be a better option because the I think it's called the trim or something? I don't even know. Um, I know a little bit about construction, but not a whole ton. Now another thing I like about this is that you can make like doorways and stuff out of it. So I've also got it on my door as well, so I might also make that into the door. So I want to say I want to have like the door right here. I'm just going to build up until it reaches my height. So I would say right about, I don't want to mess this up. Yeah, you see, like I messed it up there. Um, let's see, uh, do I have any block to stack up? We have dirt. 
No, we need that. So I think it's like this or something. And then, well, we need a door for. Oops. Uh, you wanna go back in there because uh, I don't really wanna. Where's the last one? Uh, I don't even know. Okay, uh, you're coming with me then. Oh, I keep doing that. Just and now it makes like a block sound. And now it's like one of that. Okay, we'll continue the house in the morning. I might actually just get up and form a door or something. Okay, so this is kind of like what I mean. And then like, just, I don't know. It's like it's just like this. This is the best I can explain it. Um, now I'm wondering if you can walk through the door. Oh, I messed that up. Uh, marble. I'm wondering if you can walk through the door. What's going on here? Okay, there we go. I guess that works. Okay, yep. Okay, there we go. So I want to know if you can walk through the door here or if we're going to have to take the block out. Ah, this is a weird mechanic. There we go. I hope we don't have to take the block out of here. I feel like we should be fine. But then what you just do is you build up and it's supposed to go around the door. Not like that, because my placement skills are a little off today. <sighs> okay, so this is the door idea. And you can still walk through it, even if it is like this. Just a little dip down. So it's not a big deal. But this is kind of what I had in mind. And then this little bit goes around the entire kitchen. So that's, that's more or less what I had in mind. Um, I did, I do now know how you work the block and everything. You do have to have it on, yeah, like this, to have the block to work and go in a single area, which you will sometimes get stuff like that, but it doesn't really affect much. You just do that then, and then you can get it right on the block. So I want kind of something like this, like this, the start of the house right here, and it's just going to have like this little wooden... Uh, tr like trimmer here. Uh, I need to look up what it is, but I don't know. This just looks cool. This might be the thumbnail. It looks like a neat little thing. And then what I can do is do this on the other side as well. So I just get uh, chiseled white wool, and then you just do it on the other side as well. And I don't know. It just looks really cool to me. It's just, it's like so simple. But it's just really relaxing more. Yeah, so then you get this thing, which all you have to do is do the undo button. And I don't know what you can do then. Oh, you just do that. Okay, simple. So you have to have the entire block highlighted if you want to get all the things on it. So no, like, half highlights. It's a full highlight. And then you just move your way down until you get to the bottom, run into another one of these. No problem. Actually, I might as well just do the undo. Even then, it just saves time, I guess. Because if you do that, then that's going to happen. So you might as well just do undo. You can do, I, I don't know how much you can undo. Uh, try, try doing it from the bottom up. I think from the bottom up is a little bit easier. And then when you get to like the roof, then it then it gets a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. So like this. And I just think it looks really cool because it's like not even it's not even like a slab, it's just And then you can make the wall different color right here. So if I wanted to make a wall, I just do that. I think you can put these um plain shapes. I don't know if you can make them vertical or not. Uh, that would be something I want to try out. But, I don't know. So, I'm thinking about a wall idea. <clears throat> and I would like to do these bricks right here. So, let's just look up bricks real quick. Um, what brick was it? It was kind of like... It was a neat little brick. It was not cloud brick. Ooh, marble brick looks nice. I think we might try this marble brick. Um, I don't have any marble... Like this. 
Now just imagine these in like little forms right there. And that's what this is. I don't know, it just would look nice, I guess. And then we have the floor some other color. And then we can have another thing on the wall right here. I don't know, it just seems like an interesting idea to me. So I want to see if we have any marble bricks because I think we can go ahead and yes we do we have one marble brick which should give us actually quite a bit and then do we have any other marble like brick because even just one piece of marble is gonna and one piece of marble brick is gonna get us quite far actually so let's head out here place this guy down let's grab our chisel Let's just hang way at the top. And then now our bit bag is filled with the marble brick. So I'm going to put the marble back in here. And then I'm going to actually put the wool back in there. I'm going to take out the marble bits. So the marble brick bits. And I want to show you why this is cool. Wait, can you actually put them on the side? You can. Um. Oh, that is one of the best things to look at. Oh, it's kind of hard to. It's kind of hard to do. So then I guess you could also just... Wait, what the... Oh, I took apart this as well. Um, what do I do with this then? I guess I just place it... Oh, okay, so then you can place it down on some place right here, which this is how it would normally go. But I'm going to place this down and actually get the bits back. So I'm going to get my wool back. I think you can just place it. No, that is not how you place it. That would be an inside wall. Uh, so we go to our alt, our undo, and we just go back to our small cube and build back up. So simple as that. Oh, that one worked surprisingly well. But yeah, so I mean, it's kind of hard to do a little bit. But once you get used to it, it can get fairly easy. Um, I do see that these planes can go on the side. It is a little bit hard to see if they can't, if they're going to go on the side. Like this right here, you don't know if it's going to go on the side or not. So you place this and it surprisingly goes on the side. So uh, I think what I can do is, or actually maybe I can get these marbles right here. And if we grab them like this, we can then place, ah, ha, ha. Um, ha. You see, like it looks pretty cool, right? And returning in the morning. So I think that's what I might do. The bad thing about it is that it takes up just quite a little bit, so. If we just do, oh, not that. I mean, it makes it thicker. That's not really what we want. So I'm going to do my alt and redo. And undo, I mean. So I want to do stuff like this. So if I take it right here, I can do this, take it on the side, do this. And then it's just going to get the uh, block form of it, kind of. So this is kind of my way of doing it. So then I have four slots, so one two, three, four. I can, oh, I guess they go in the same flow. So like that, because they are considered side. So then you just do this, do this, do this, and then you do these, these guys right here, which, do they go on the outside of the block, actually? I don't know if they go on the inside of the block. They might not, which is a little strange. Uh, I just, I saw you there. Uh, no, you go, you go on the outside of the block. Okay. So these are more, not the blocks that I would really use. I mean, I guess if you're doing like this wall right here, actually not even because you need inside bricks. Okay, that's a little strange. But, um, so can you do like this? This would make it bigger. Like this. Aha! That's what you do. You just click on the side right here. Now that's easier. Okay. Yeah, that's... Uh, oops. 
Good thing you have the good old undo. Where is oh, I need the where is it? Uh, I need more bits for my bit bag. Um marble chisel bit. Which one was it? It was Did I use them all? I might have used all the brick. So we got this little bit right here then. Which uh, I don't know what I can use for it. I guess I could kind of use like a countertop. But not really what I was expecting to do. But this is this is already a good looking thing. It's the start of a kitchen. Now I want to try something with the so what else do we have in our bit bag? We'd have quite a bit of dirt. Um, this basil, and we got. Ooh, I want to try something. I want to try the glass. So let's do this. I want to try making a window out of this. So what it's going to be is. Ooh. I think what I'm going to do is make a window frame out of this. So if I place it like this, that's a table. Okay. So let me undo that. So then if I were to place it like hmm. I guess I need like blocks to build up on. Wait a minute. Nope, that's on like that's on the barrier bit. Uh let's get the make the wood. Or the Oh no, that's yeah, that's right there. Oh man. Hmm, this is going to be kind of hard, I guess. I guess what I could do is... No, that would require... Oh, no, I could do this. So then... Ah, yeah, that works. So let's do... Say this. This. And then you remove these blocks. And then you got yourself a window right here. But now I want to make a... Little well, window still with like the small cubes. Oh no. Um oh undo. There it is. Now, hmm, what should I actually do with this one? I think if I place it in here it's gonna look a little funky. But then again, I'm going to have countertops and everything in this area, so it might not look that bad. Plus I was also considering using the marble as the countertop. So it might not look that bad, or as bad as I think. But let's try building up. Oops. Uh, alt. Undo. So let's try building up then. Any mishap? Nope. Doesn't look like it. All good. You see, like, this is what I love about this mod. Is that you can... This is my first time using it. And I already love it. Because this is just so relaxing. I mean, it's time consuming, yes, but... It's just kind of relaxing, you know? And then you just build it down. Which, preferably, I do it this way. And then, does this look weird? I mean, it looks pretty low, but these are going to be, like, the countertop parts right here. So, I mean, like this. And these are going to go outline the countertops, so, I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I might make the side window sill. A little bit of a different color. But these are just like these little micro blocks are so cool. I wonder how long it took the person who made them to actually do all this. Because this is just amazing stuff right here. It's incredible how you how much you can do with these. But I want my countertops like this. And then it's gonna be a single panel of maybe the basil or something. And what that's going to look like is, well, so it's going to be like this. And then it's going to be kind of like any other counter, like what you have in your house, hope maybe. And it's just going to go off to the side. Uh, and then, oh, there we go. So undo. And you do this, you do this, you do that, you do that, you do this, that, that, and this. And there you go. So then this is what I want the thing to look like. So what else do we have in our bit bag then? I guess I could try to use this. So then I want to maybe make it into the panel. 
or the plane. And oh yeah, I also need to do this part, but um well that's gonna it's gonna be a little bit annoying. Okay, uh I guess I could try to make it into the if I were to do it in a single bit, that would take so long. Hmm, what would I do? So this is on the top here of this block. I think we might actually need to make this some block taller then. Oh, oops. Uh, okay, let me get that back. We might need to make this just a little bit taller then. Right here. So I'm going to make or I'm actually going to put the this on it first. So then you do I think it's this. Yes, that's what it is. You do this. You do that. You do this. I mean, I guess it is something for the little bits under it. All oh, the window is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Plus now it's on like oh, no, it's not on the outside of it. Because we can just cover that up with the brick. But this is what I want it to look like. And then I think we might leave this one blank right here. And then maybe put like a stove or something. Or actually, no. Uh, I might make a little cabinet out of this. Or I might just put little bits in it. So then we can just go back to our, um, what is it? Our chiseled marble. And we just do that. Aha, now this is what I want. I mean, I guess it does. Can you even see it from the bottom? I don't know if you can even see it from the bottom, but this is kind of what I want. Uh, I'm just going to use single bits to get in there. It's not much. It's only nine of them. Or no, it's like 12, maybe. So then you do this. Um, that bit's on the outside right here. So you can just... Oh wait, we can just chisel it out. Haha. <laughs> so this is what I want of it. And then you won't even see that right there, so. But it's gonna go around like this. It's gonna loop to this countertop right here. Which I'm thinking about just bringing this down. I don't know, just kitchen stuff. So this is what it looks like right now. Um, right here. This might be the thumbnail, actually. Well, I need to get a good angle of it. Maybe like right here. No, I want to get the window. Oh, well, this crafting table is conveniently placed. So, kind of like this. And I think it looks really cool. Um, this will be placed up with the block once I get it. Now, I want to see if there is anything with the bits. So, if we go on to, like, bit or... Oh, what is this? Chiseled fluid. No way. You can make, like, fluid... I could make sinks, I could make... <sighs> this is the best mod ever. Hands down, this is the best. There is no doubt about it. You can make liquid blocks, apparently. And if you don't know what that is, it means you can pretty much make anything. So liquid, like you can liquefy lava, you can liquefy water, or uh, liquefy. You can blockify water, you can blockify lava, and it pretty much just makes them into a block. Now that is something I want to do next episode. So I think I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm going to work on probably a little bit more of this. Um, I might move on to the next room. I might finish the kitchen actually during this episode. But, uh, so single bit right here. Let's do that. Uh, bam. Actually, I probably should. Oh, wait, never mind. I could just hit the bit. So, yeah, I'm going to do just the rest of this for the rest of the episode. And then next episode, I will be right with you. And we will be able to, well, make the rest of these. So, I think I might actually have to take out the bottom layer of this, first of all. So, that might be a little bit of a pain for a little bit. Or, no, can't I just do, like, plain and then I can remove the layer of it? I don't know. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Uh, I think you can from the bottom. But anyway, I'll figure it out. So I'm going to leave the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And goodbye, everyone.